Good morning, people. <clears throat> now, excuse me for a moment while I wake up the entire camping with my motorcycle. Nothing forgotten. Alright, let's go. It's a quarter past seven in the morning. Never mind my uh, the clock on my dashboard. It's still on no reach of time. It's about a 30 minutes ride to where I'm going. I guess it's uh, Stuttgardil or something. Yeah, Stuttgardil. So far, it's uh, quite nice weather. It's already 14 degrees. It's supposed to be quite shady with a lot of wind and rain, but it looks like it's quite all right. Fingers crossed to continue this way. make ourselves a really good day, shall we? So I should be arriving at the parking lot for Sudgadil any minute. I'm choosing to go from the east side, which means I have to walk for about, I think it's a kilometer and a half. There was still a quite a bit of uh, stretch to ride here and the road is quite the humpty bumpty ride. It's like riding on big cobblestones, you know, from the streets, except they are all a different size and not very even. <laughs> oh, like I heard for you, Loki. Oh, ay, ay, ay. I try to always point the other way around just so I don't have to pull my car out. Car? What the fuck? Motorcycle. Am I the one who talks so much shit to yourself while they're driving? <sighs> Alright, let's go for a walk. again <clears throat> going back to where we came from obviously um, the plan now is a ride to a small sort of I think it's like a cafe ish up in the highlands uh, where they apparently serves like pancakes and such I am definitely looking forward to some warm coffee and maybe a pancake or two Ooh. This is so fucking rocky, nasty to ride on. <sighs> All right, let's get going. So 
there was just a warning sign down there saying that these roads are quite rocky. I'm just curious if how rocky are they when the Icelanders say that it's a rocky road? So far it's not, not bad at all, but I'm just wondering how bad it's going to be. Gravel. It's like basically just like these lava stones, and it's so light, like it doesn't weigh anything. Close to pancakes, I believe. I think it's here. The variety of this of the nature here is just absolutely incredible. You go from like lush fields like this that are, you know, filled with, um, you know, plants and flowers and such, and then there's all of a sudden you're in this scenery where it's just it's just stone, like nothing but stone. Which is very fascinating. Very fascinating. Feels like you're on the moon sometimes. This is so cool. Look at this. There's a small fireplace. This is where you get your coffee. It looks really, really old. So that was a really cool experience. A cup of coffee and a cup of pancakes was exactly what I needed right now before I continue. Getting off this mountain pretty, uh, pretty soon I think. Uh, and then I'll continue to another sort of um, mountain hut or what I should call it called Fjalla Coffee. Let's get out of here. <laughs> what is this place? 
Martha? Did I arrive at the end of the earth? Is that it? Because this place looks dead. Oh my god. It looks like there should be a lake here and then the, someone pulled the plug in the bottom of the lake and just drained it for water. really picked up Ooh. although this is legit one of the coolest places I've ever seen this whole place is just like a whole pile of gravel it's so gray it's like you're on a freaking moon not that I haven't been on a moon but if I'd ever imagined what it's like being on a moon I just imagine it's like this <sighs> frisky Frisky weather. But there's no rain, so I'm not gonna complain. Hey, that should be my new saying. Now, let's continue for our second cup of coffee. Uh, we are, oh, just 12 minutes away. Not bad, not bad at all. This has the coffee. Probably where all the cars are. Yes, Fjalla coffee. Mountain coffee. That's my guess. Luckily I had some gas here as well. Still had about a half tank to go, but it's always nice to fuel up some because if I'm gonna take the route that I'm planning to, there's still a couple hundred kilometers until I'll see a gas station again. Um, it is flipping windy. It just keeps picking up. I mean, can you see how the bike is like almost? I don't know what to do. I'll, I'll just continue riding for a bit and see if it gets better. And if it doesn't, then I think I'm just gonna find somewhere to stay. This is definitely not tent weather. All right, let's try not to get ourselves blown off the road, shall we? Stop. Oh my goodness sake, what is this place? At least I know that I'm on the ring road, so which is like the main road. So I'm pretty sure it should lead me to me button where at least they have a gas station and stuff, so maybe a place I can stop to figure things out. 
The safe thing would be to just... Oh, f***ing hell! Stop somewhere. But there's literally no place to stop. <laughs> ah, talk about adventure. Alright, I'm sure we'll be fine. The wind isn't as crazy anymore. Still there, but not nearly as crazy. Um, I'm about 10 minutes away from Mivatten, where I'll find somewhere to stay tonight. If the wind has got better, then I think I'll pitch my tent. Otherwise, I think there's a lot of other possibilities for accommodations or something there. So we'll see. Camping. Um, they said it was gonna calm down tonight, the wind, so I think I'm gonna take the chance to, to tent tonight. <sighs> this tent was about a kilo. Take this no room. Love it. Big Agnes, Tiger Wall, two persons tent. <laughs> it's very nice. How nice is this? Yeah, we're definitely putting a tent here. One hundred percent camping right here. Here it's not that late yet. I think it's about let's see, nine o'clock in the evening. Um, it's been a long day though. I'm quite tired. I'd rather go to bed a little bit earlier and then wake up uh, at a decent time. Anyway, I want to show you uh, on the map again where I rode today. So let's see. This is where I slept last night. Um, then I went all the way down here. This is where Sturlagil was. Then I rode up somewhere around here, there's this road right here, and this is where all the crazy moony uh, landscape was. If that's even a term, I don't know, probably not. Uh, then I started to go on road number one, that was just you know, part of the ring road here. And I was supposed to go up like this way, but I realized it was too windy, so I continued straight to Mivatten, where I am sleeping tonight, this area. So the plan for tomorrow is probably to trace back a little bit and do um, the stuff that I didn't have time to do today. It's been a really great day from beginning to end, actually, despite the... Hold on, there's a strange light outside. Is it the sunset or... Oh, I gotta show you this. Hold on. Let me just switch my camera around. Take a look at this. Oh my god. 
I need to run out and take some pictures.